Um, yung pupuntahan po natin is yung unang dog area natin, yung Dog Run 1. And uh, dito yung pinakamaraming aso na nakalagay na common areas. Lahat po sila up for adoption. They're needy for attention at nakikita po nila na may dish. So, kumbaga nagko-compete din sila for attention na sila yung mapili na ilabas or ilakad for the day. Ang procedure po namin kung mag adopt kayo from POS is kailangan yung bisitahin yung animal of your choice, mapaaso man ito or pusa, three times. Um, reason namin behind dito is para mag-form yung bond between the adopter and yung animal na ia-adopt. Kailangan din nilang mag-undergo ng two interviews para lang ma-insure namin na yung family or yung person that will be adopting is ready na to be a pet owner. Sa kasamaang palad, usually ang hinahanap nila is yung mga younger dogs, mga 2 years old and below. May iba na nag naghahanap ng puppies. We have three senior dogs na si Ruff, si Bash, at saka si Howie. All of them were rescued from neglectful owners. And then, um, karamihan sa kanila may mange nung na-rescue. Um, may iba nakakahawa. And yun nga, hindi masyado kasing nag-recover yung skin nila. Kaya minsan siguro um, hindi sila masyadong napapansin. Uh, si Bash po na rescue in Malikina nung 2014. Um, old dog na rin po siya nung na rescue and sobrang payat niya at wala siyang balahibo. So ngayon po um, kailangan namin sa kanya is medyo ma-diet kasi medyo nag-overweight siya at dahil sa matanda na siya um, nahihirapan siyang maglakad. So yung mga volunteers din namin nagfo-focus sa kanya para every weekend or pag may chance mailakad siya para hindi mag-deteriorate yung paa niya or yung uh, mga buto niya. Sa experience namin since most of the rescue dito sa mga, sa shelter is yan nga napabayaan. So parang pag nakakakita sila ng tao na nagmamahal sa kanila or nagbibigay sa kanila ng atensyon, nag fixate sila or nafo-focus sila dun sa tao na yon na yun yung um, parang kinikilala nila na closest sa kanila. This is Harley! Come on, come on, come on! Seven! John Lloyd, John Lloyd Cruz. MJ, this is my alpha dog, my boss dog. This is one of my foster puppies, Rafa. I first adopted an older dog in 2009. He was an older dog na very big also and they thought they were not going to be able to adopt him out. I liked him because he seemed to be laid back. This is Luna. Some of my dogs have become old na rin. And I find that older dogs are easier to care for. They're not so magulo. They're not so destructive like eating kung ano-ano mga plants and things, ganyan. They're not so demanding of your time. Yeah, older dogs are the best kept secret of the adopted dog group. Another one of my foster puppies, it's, this is Martina. She's been here one week pa lang. She's been here one week pa lang. I'll take care of her until she's paid a new turn. Then I'll bring her back to the shelter so she can find her forever home. Uh, since last week, I have three foster puppies that I also foster puppies. Ah, magulo mga puppy. Cute sila, but I prefer to foster them lang. Then when they're kapon na, then I give them back to the shelter. Older dogs are more 
easier to care for except when they have medical problems na like arthritis. I have a dog that has arthritis and then they have cataracts also but the cataracts don't bother them. Parang it's like just normal to them. <coughs> My favorite walking dog is Phil. He's, I think he's about 13 years old. Come on, come on, come here. This is Phil. I adopted him a year ago. Uh, so on September 9 last year, uh, I went to the post shelter and I wanted to give an older dog a chance to have a home. So I asked them, who's your longest staying dog here? And it was Phil. He had been at the shelter for seven years. He wasn't adopted. So I adopted him and now he's my walking buddy. Masipag siya maglakad kahit tinatamad ako. Parang sige, maglakad na lang ako kasi I don't want to disappoint him. So it's also healthy to have a dog that walks with you because napipilitan ka to exercise. Dogs naman just want to be cared for, lalo na when he comes from the dog or cat comes from a totally neglectful owner or no owner at all, like having to to scrounge around on the street for his survival. Some of my foster puppies that have been adopted already, sometimes they don't eat for like a few days or they don't wee wee or they don't poop for a few days, sometimes mailap. But eventually, when the adopter is patient and shows real interest in bonding with the dog, then it, they usually adjust.